right, 2015, Las Vegas, Artistry and Iron. Tell me your name, man. Uh, my name is Zach Conway. I'm from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. All right, Zach. And I have a 52 pan head in the show here, Artistry and Iron. What do you think about Artistry and Iron? Uh, it's awesome, man. A lot yeah. of. A lot of awesome work here, you know, guys are just putting out crazy stuff. Well, what's it like to be an artistry and iron mom? I am so honored and so proud to be here, and I'm so proud of my son. Will Ramsey, Faith for Hut and Shoppers, we're out of Louisville, Kentucky. Here in Vegas for Artistry and Iron, we bought a 1960 panhead chopper with a titanium frame and titanium spring. Wow. Uh, my name is Max Hazen, uh, from Long Island, New York, living in California, and second year here in the show. Great, she came a long way to be here. Oh yeah, a whole four hours. I've <laughs> been doing this for about four years, but to be here with the talent for builders and see the running. Oh, uh, good. You know, wow. <laughs> you know, I, I try and keep it simple. I, I, I think of ideas, I build, I just keep it simple. So that's it. But, you know, it's an honor to be here with everybody. You know, it's, it's like the best builders in the world. I'm Winston from uh, Rockfield, Taiwan. I build custom motorcycle in Taiwan, which is pretty far from everybody. It but, is. Uh, yeah, it's a long uh, Yeah, Artistry and Iron is pretty much one of the shows that I've been always been uh, look up to. Because all, all my heroes are here, pretty much. Cool. Here for Artistry and Iron. Yes. Uh, you're no rookie to Artistry and Iron either. No, this is my fourth time coming. Fourth time. Wow. This bike is a, a dual plug, dual carburetor, dual ma uh, magneto driven, uh, 93 cubic inch panhead, uh, four speed transmission. The motor and transmission is actually hung from the frame, uh, digger. Uh, typically, a bike that was built out of my area about the time I was born. I'm Ken Nagai, uh, Ken Factory. Uh, my base, main company is in Japan, but also I have a lot of production line. So uh, we have shops and the warehouse and the factory in Long Beach, California too. Jeremy Kemp, uh, I'm out of Virginia. Uh, from LC Fabrication. Okay. I've been doing this bike thing for about 10 years. Yeah. Uh, first time at Artisan 9? Uh, it's actually the second time. Oh, it's second year, time. Eight years ago. Quality, craftsmanship, uh, you know, uh, many things these days are done simply for dollars. And, you know, I, 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 I'm not a great businessman. I worry less about the dollars and more about a high quality product. As you know, Buck, I've been doing the championship bracelets here for two years now. Very excited to be here. I did an amazing bracelet this year, all handcrafted, sterling silver, two and a half carats of blue sapphires, going to the world's best bike bikes are off the charts. Every year it gets better and better. What makes all this possible is the sponsor. Where's our buddy from Paco, Handy Lift Industries, workshop here, our third place winner of a custom trophy, obviously, a Paco chrome tapered oval lamp springer. Where's Max's at? And I told him as soon as he's ready to sell one, I'll build a bike around it. And I'm sitting over there, give me five months to build and touch the bike. The second place winner, Paco Custom Rigid Rolling Chassis. This is a hell of a trophy to take home. A great start on next year's Artistry and Iron Bike, if you would choose to. Put your hands together, ladies and gentlemen, for Rick Bray from RKB Custom Speed. Impeccable builds. I've been watching this cat all year long build this motorcycle. Started on it right after last year. It's a race car inspired. You could look at it. I mean, I didn't leave anything out of this thing. Uh, just take a look at it and see what you think. This year's championship receives a check for what? Ten thousand. What? Ten thousand dollars. In addition to that, full feature story in Cycle Source magazine. That's kind of valuable too, but maybe not ten thousand dollars. A lift from Handy Industries. A one-of-a-kind championship bracelet designed and created by Steve Sofa. Look at that thing right there, shining under the lights. All right, let me tell you about this cat. Like so many of us in the world of custom motorcycles, our winners started with the need to build something out of nothing. 
taking his desire for cool and overcoming his empty pockets. Starting off as a grocery clerk who carried the bags for the owner of a fab shop, seven years later, he was still at the same job. This build, scoring him the win here today, is a mix of the past and the present. That's part Speedway, part Buell, and all together, a completely cool motorcycle. Put your hands together, ladies and gentlemen, for 2015's Artistry and Iron winner, Jeremy Cup from LC Fabrication. I love that not only do you build one of the baddest ass bikes in the room, but you're one of the most humble men that I could ever talk to. I've done articles with this man before, and he is always just so unimpressed with himself. Tell him how you feel about the bike that he built over there. And there it is, your 2015 champion getting crowned right now.